This is the, uh, the famous one right here. This is the one you see out of all photos when it comes to this. Right, D? Right now we're kind of debating if we, Allie's not feeling too good right now. So I'm kind of, it's kind of, she left it up to me, but she's so like, she's, I don't want to say stubborn, but she's so gung ho on things. I just, if she's not feeling good, I'd rather start going to warmer climate. We don't know if we're going to go home home or just kind of find spots along the way. Cause there was one place I wanted to go to was Chimney Rock, which is really cool, but it's further north. So it goes the opposite direction, obviously, than where we live, which is south. Geographically, I don't know if you guys understood that. Sorry. I'm gonna get some more, I wanna say gas, diesel. We're gonna get some more diesel, which by the way, I never thought I'd ever have an automobile or drive one that required diesel. And I gotta say, it is a little more expensive, but the longevity of it, it just lasts, I don't wanna say tremendously longer, but it seems to last a lot longer on um, the gas. So that's been kind of a, an interesting little thing. Now comes the part of the, uh, the trip to where we don't know exactly where we're going again. So it could be the coolest place or the lamest place. And that's the whole beauty of this whole thing. I have no idea what's going on over here. This lady got out of her car, started yelling at him for some reason. I have no idea, but it was actually kind of, I was in the bathroom and I heard it too. So I don't know what's going on. I want to see who this lady is. There she is. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How does that feel up in your face? It's like second nature. <laughs> Obviously, you guys saw that we left our last RV spot. I unfortunately have kind of come down with something. I don't know if I have a cold, the beginning of a cold, or maybe it's just that the cold weather is kind of affecting me a little bit. Just so that we're not rushing our last day to drive home, uh, we have to be home on the 23rd. We thought we would kind of take our time on the way back so we're gonna start heading home today and just kind of make some stops along the way so that there's no pressure to drive 14 and I say 18 hours because we've got dogs and things like that so you know and a pregnant woman who has to pee just as much or if not more than a dog I gotta show you this view When we were in Gatlinburg, Ali thought the arcade, remember the arcade that was in Gatlinburg was the one with the, the arcade uh, ticket thing, the claw machine that has my face. So here it is guys, Geneva, Ohio at a place called Adventure Zone. So if you go there, take some video, take some photos, tell me, win some tickets. Just take some photos if you actually go there. Every time we come home from any place we go, like North Carolina, Asheville, like literally where we're coming from, the drive home we always end up hitting Atlanta like in the middle of the night or super late. So we haven't been able to go to any of the cool little like oddities or tourist traps. So actually Bryce and Nelly from the Jergies sent me a link to some oddities that we can check out. And one that I've said before is called the Dollhead Trail. I don't know how many years I've been saying I wanted to go to it, but we're gonna get there in the middle of the day and I'm actually pretty stoked. It's this weird, weird thing you guys are gonna see. It's probably the creepiest thing we're probably gonna see in a long time, but still. And then there's a couple other things. I've been literally on my phone researching like different like things. There's like an old car city. That could be actually kind of cool. There's a dwarf castle. Uh, there's a nuclear aircraft laboratory. All of a sudden, Georgia. It's creepy. It's in Atlanta, but it's called the Dollhead Trail. I have no idea what to expect. 
it's going to be cool or not. All I know is this is something that I've had on my list for about three years now, since the first, 2017, on, two years, I can't, I can't count. The first RV trip, that's the first time I heard about this thing and I really wanted to go to. This cross is actually kind of cool. All right, well, not really, doesn't look too spooky or anything, so that's, that's interesting already. Looks like a nice walk. Hey guys, I completely forgot, happy Easter. I didn't even realize that was coming up until we left the RV unit and I was like, oh yeah, it's Easter, so happy. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, Allie, so what I've read is that we gotta follow this to a boardwalk, and then once we get to a boardwalk, at the end is like a marshy thing, and then apparently, I'm not even kidding, this is what it says, there's a baby doll arm that points us to the right direction. Keep an eye out for a baby doll arm. <laughs> Anything else we have to worry about now? On another bob. There are more bobs up there? Another bobber. Got another bobber right there. Is that where he goes though? This is kind of one of the eeriest, kind of, it's kind of just, I mean, it's definitely an art piece. That's exactly what it is. And I, from what I read is that you can add to it as long as it's not trash. So like little toys and trinkets, like that kind of stuff. I see a lot of things from my childhood. Okay, so I got the uh, winner right here. There's nothing gonna be better than this one. Please tell me somebody knows who this is. Apparently this place is bigger than we thought. We just met two uh, young girls that were literally on their phones looking at GPS's, like trying to find out where the heck to go. So we know which way not to go. I know I keep saying it guys, but I really hope that you've been liking the new, I call it the office style of vlogging. I feel like it's definitely added a whole new dynamic and style that I'm hopefully kind of creating, recreating for the CTFXC. At the end of the day, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So that's all that matters. Oh my God, is that Elmo? I was telling Allie, like I fly through Atlanta all the time, all the time. I don't even know how many times, sometimes in a week. And I never knew this really, I knew it existed, but I never got to see how unique it is. And I feel like that's the beauty about like RV trips and road trips in general, is that you can see things that are kind of hidden. But for that, I have to say thank you again. I'm gonna keep saying it, the lazy days for, you know, giving us the opportunity to come out here. So this is why I urge you guys 
to try to take more road trips. Definitely try to do an RV trip. Check out Lazy Days. They're like our official CTFXC sponsor, I feel like now. You know what it is? is you kind of have like unexpected adventures within your adventure. I think exactly. that's why I like road trips so much. It's like you have the availability to make pit stops, you know? And see things you'd want to be able to see normally. Exactly. They keep up with the themes, Al. Why are graveyards so noisy? Because they're all coffin. I'm noticing that despite anyone, because you know like when you walk by people, like sometimes they just look kind of like cranky or just in a bad mood. Anytime Zoe is in that wagon and you see somebody looking cranky, the second they walk by Zoe, immediately a nice little smile on her face. Zoe's bringing happiness and love and smiles to everybody. Right, Zoda? She used to fight this thing. Now she freaking loves it. I would love it. Ali, you can start pulling me around. Just put the dogs. It's like when Marley, remember when Marley used to pull me on the skateboard? Or the penny board? The 20 pound dog is pulling me. This is awesome. So everyone who's been to Cracker Barrel has seen this obnoxious game. And I'm gonna show you how awesome I am. So we're gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna hop it over here. Okay, I'm gonna hop it over here. Get it hopping because it's Easter. And then this guy's gonna go here. This guy's gonna go here, okay? And then this is, okay, so we're gonna do a triple jump on this one. So we're gonna one, two, three. So these guys are gone now. I forgot one. Oh, this one's gotta go out, okay. Okay, now we're gonna take, shoot, now that's where I get screwed up. This guy to here? No, 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 no. That's not right. This guy to here. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then we're gonna take this guy to here. Yeah, and then this guy goes to here. Oh. Taylor goes over the blue. Over the blue. There. And there. Shark. Actually, technically, Allie helped. Now you guys can pretend like you know what you're doing and make money by betting against people. You know what? Look at that headline. Right here. <laughs> Greatest headline ever.